All the checks completed. And Matthew McQuillan blows the whistle. And we're off with Lebrun and Becker immediately taking the ball. Handing it out to this left-hand side where Mo Kassim, who's been in such good form, gets it just over the halfway line. Spins round his man. Plays in field to Ackroyd. Chippendale now. It goes forward. Goes down to that left-hand side. Out to uh, Kassim. Gets it on the left-hand side. He is uh, about to cross. The referee says there was no advantage. And he's going to go back here because there was a foul on Callum Chippendale. And the goalkeeper just stands to the right. So Chippendale, can he get a good delivery on this? He gets too much on it. Goes over the top of the crossbar and behind. Ironic cheers from the away fans. Tugger 18 on the uh, mixed large chat room just saying, come on guys, a fast start again. I think that's what we've had so far. Not the same effect that we got against Belper. Now, guys, you have the ball. This time, Ackroyd on the ball, just on the edge of the 18-yard box. Plays it in here to Kasim. Makes a run. Good challenge comes in from uh, De Grouchy. Gets a good uh, connection on the ball, and it's behind for a Geisley corner. Well, against Morpeth. Who is that? Whitby. Right. Away at Morpeth. Not an easy place to go, as we know. Now, a really good free kick has uh, taken the ball up towards the edge of the 18-yard box for FC United as they press the Lions. Wollerton chasing around, forcing the error, and another corner. Can he find a cross? Good ball into the box. This one headed away from uh, Cassidy, who was the intended target. Recovered on this right-hand side. And Dale again involved. This time, FC United get the bodies in there to deal with it. Now look for the counter-attack. But that one's really well cut out here by Boateng, who's uh, got the ball now. Running forward, looking for an angle for a pass. Does find Cassidy, lays it off here. Shot comes in from range from Kasim. That one flashes past the upright and behind for a goal kick, but good movement there from the Lions. Good defensive work from Boateng. Nice layoff and a decent uh, strike from Kasim, just the wrong side of the upright. Still nil-nil. Really enterprising, bright and crisp. Hopefully it's uh, picked up by uh, Geisley and they get it into the other half and then it's uh, taken away. Here's a good challenger that comes in here from Ackroyd on Andy Hall. Ackroyd chasing the goalkeeper all the way back. Will Stanway does really well and manages to get a foot on it and uh, clears. Ball eventually goes out off a guysy head for a throw on the halfway line to FC United. What we do with maybe actually testing the goalkeeper? We haven't really done that as yet. Kasim might try that now. Runs on the ball. He's got three around him. He's never going to get through them all. He's uh, fouled though. And he does earn Geisley a free kick. About 15 yards up from the edge of the 18-yard box to the left-hand side of the D. Maybe a bit far to shoot, but might be worth a try. I think it's lining up for a shot. I think Walker's going to curl this one in towards the back post. It's headed. Goes towards the goal. Point blank save. Fast in. Second attempt. The Lions have taken the lead. Danny Ellis. And Danny Ellis at the back pokes home to get his first goal for the club since returning. And what a time to do it. 25 minutes gone. Geisley won. FC United nil. So Geisley... Well, he, he started, He started, he? yeah. He started, sorry, he started yeah. the final, yes. Yeah, yeah. Chippendale on this one. And it's whipped in again towards the back post. Up towards Ellis. He wants more than one. He's going to challenge a goalkeeper who comes out, punches that one out and behind. Corner for the Lions. Chippendale in there. Just a one-man wall in front. This one whips up across the six-yard box. Really well punched away by the goalkeeper, Stanway. Strong in his six-yard box. Under pressure. It will go out for a guysy throw on right-hand side. Callum Chippendale. Kasim, of course, also. This one whips in towards the end of the six-yard box. It's headed towards a goal. Stabbed there. Punched over by the goalkeeper on his goal line. Brilliant reactions. Another corner to the Lions. How did that stay out? I have no idea. It looked like it had to go in. All credit to the goalkeeper there. Just sheer reaction. He uh, managed to get the ball tipped over the crossbar and away. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, I don't think well, it would have been a, a yellow card offence, though, would it? I think so, yeah. That part of the field, yeah. Well, there we go. Full of... Full of uh, excitement in that first 45 minutes, a, a real high-intensity game. And it's the Lions who take the first-half advantage with Danny Ellis scoring his uh, first goal uh, since he's come back to the club as a uh, player-manager on 25 minutes. A free kick whipped into the box, headed towards a goal by Umbecker, well saved by Stanway. 
finished with a plum from Ellis. And uh, Stanway also called into action to save from close range to deny the Lions a second. But uh, a half that's slightly been tempered by an incident uh, that we will no doubt hear about later. Second half about to get underway. And FC United get us started trailing. They are the visitors by a goal to nil. Danny Ellis scoring for Geisley on his return to the club. His first goal to across here to Jones. Curtis Jones. And now Wallerton over from the centre circle. Plays a good ball out to this left-hand side. Armstrong crosses towards the back post. Header hits the upright. Hits the crossbar, still not cleared, and then tipped over, I think. Or oh, it tipped off the uh, crossbar. Or there was a free kick in there somewhere. By the way, it will be uh, a Lions ball, but that was ever so close. And uh, they've hit the woodwork now, FC United. Just might scent, scent, smell blood here. It was, it was a great cross by the left back. He hasn't had a great game so far. Walker involved, but that one's defended. Armstrong in the right place at the right time on that occasion. Ball switches from left to right as FC United come over the halfway line. Played up towards the edge of the 18-yard box. Linney with a nice run, tries to get past his man. Dinks the ball towards the goal, and this time it's hit the crossbar again. A really inventive effort there from Linney. He uh, spotted uh, Kyle Trenery off his line and then dipped the ball from the angle of the penalty area towards the uh, left-hand side of the goal. It didn't dip in time from his perspective and thankfully hit, thankfully hit the top of the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. 58 minutes gone and it's FC United who have the momentum and it's the substitute now who's getting the ball. A good layoff from Rodwell Grant, right-hand side. They're trying to uh, find an angle for a cross again. Guys, he's sitting deep here. It goes out to uh, Rodwell Grant, who gets a good ball in and towards Armstrong, headed away by Boateng. Well placed again, the fullback. Nicky Walker tries to get away, slide in, and the referee decides that's the ball that uh, it's got. I have to say, I think Lenny's got a little lucky on that occasion. It was press once again in search of this equaliser. Ball is threaded through the middle that time. Danny Ellis is on there. There's a challenge from Ennis to win the ball back. Bit of an optimistic shout for a foul. And now it's a 1-2 and it's through. Yeah. FC United get the equaliser. And it's uh, Rodwell Grant who scores. Simple 1-2. He looked offside from this angle. And the uh, assistant on that far side has been spoken to by Kyle Trenery. I wonder how that might look on the replay. I think they might have got a little lucky there, FC United, on that occasion. I think it might have been a, a deep runner who came through. Now, but had a brilliant first half, including the ball that led to the goal. This one whipped in towards the edge of the 18-yard box, headed away. Walker will chase this one. I think it'll go out for a corner. It will. What a fantastic ball. Walker will try and find another angle for a cross. This time he's pushed over. This time uh, Gary Hall feels a little bit aggrieved. Walker takes it quickly, finds Daly, pings it into the area, goes past everyone, takes a shot, deflection, in! Guys, he takes advantage! I think it was Cassidy who took the final touch. He took a deflection, fucked the goalkeeper. Geisy back in front, a really smart move from the free kick. It's Garzi 2, FC United 1. Well, very well made because it was a... Walker took a quick free kick. Dean put in a, a very testing... Sorry, not, not Dean, Daly put in a very uh, testing low cross. Cassidy hit it first time, deflected past the keeper. We'll have some stoppage time. And make that about three minutes between goal and restart. FC United start again and they attack the Lions immediately. The ball uh, coming down here on this right-hand side. As uh, it's played in, challenged here by Luke Dean. But can't keep FC United from coming forward. Takes a deflection into the box, claimed by Trenery. And uh, the referee, I think, will uh, give a free kick to uh, Geisy for the challenge on uh, Trenery. They feel that there was a, a fair challenge. He <laughs> sees. Filed a beating Kidderminster 2-0. South Shields are beating Liversedge 1 now, 1-0. It's uh, another ball forward from the visitors. as They go in search for this equaliser. Ding-dong performance so far. Ding-dong game this one has been. 
on the field. It's up into the area and again at a close range header that goes straight to Kyle Chenery. The ball whipped in with danger from that right hand side across the face of the six yard box. I think it was Hall who got onto it, the substitute, but he didn't connect really well with it and it went into uh, Kyle Trenery who collected. Hall does have a great strike on him. I mean, even, even today, even, even his long passing, you can see he's got quality, hasn't he? And strike a ball. Yeah. Let's hope he's uh, not on it today if he's the one taken. It's a bit far back, I don't think he will. This one will be whipped in from the left foot. Takes a deflection. Trenery watches it. Callum Gribbin hit it with his left foot. Took a deflection off the wall. Trenery was moving towards where the ball would have been. And stoops. Doesn't really connect with it all that well, though. Hits his back. And uh, it's a chance now for FC United to again start again with the play. And the ball at their feet on the halfway line. Making a good run down that right-hand side. Just getting a yard on the Lions. Ball goes into the box. It misses everyone. It's coming across here to Armstrong. He'll take a shot. Can't keep that one down. 2-1 to the Lions. Possibly the last one of the moment. This ball whipped in. Bounces up towards the back post. Guys, you get enough of it away. And it's gone out for a FC United throw. This time the throw from the corner flag goes short. In comes Nicky Walker to try and disrupt things. Battling away. Guys, you get the throw. And that uh, is the most appreciated throw of the evening so far. That's probably where it would end up anyway. Nicky Walker's got it, but there's absolutely nobody in the penalty area. So forget that. He might have a shot. Yeah, he sent it off rugby style and out. And that's it. The Lions earn a very important win this evening. A huge, huge performance from Geisley against the team at the top of the table. But uh, it all started off in the first half with a fantastic goal for Danny Ellis, a, a fantastic <laughs> close-range goal. But it was fantastic because it's his first goal since returning uh, to, uh, to the club. And uh, all after a brilliant ball in from Nicky Walker uh, that was uh, saved by the goalkeeper close-range from LeBron and Becker. Danny Ellis on hand to grab the goal. It wasn't going to be easy, though, when FC United came out strongly in the second half and grabbed an equaliser. Rodwell Grant perhaps deservedly uh, on the balance of play, making it 1-1. But the last laugh was had when Jake Cassidy struck after a very smart, swiftly taken free kick. Cassidy scoring with the aid of a deflection to give Geisley a impressive 2-1 victory against FC United. It's all over and it's a great night, a great game under the lights at Nethermore. Geisley 2, FC United 1. Danny, that feels like, like the best result of the season and a really, really, really intense game. Yeah, it was a proper game of football, wasn't it? Be between two proper teams, um, a proper football club, and Tuesday night under the nights at Nevermore. I keep reminding these lads how special they can be, and um, you know it certainly was that tonight. It was a proper game, thoroughly enjoyable, tense. Um, yeah, we're happy we've come out of it, but I thought it was a good advert on the whole. Um, but yeah, really, really uh, happy to come out of that. With the point. It, it, it's even to show two sides, two sides to our game because in the first half we played with real quality, we played with real intensity, we started well, we were nicking the ball off the back four, high press and everything. Second half was a bit more of a grit and intensity but we still kind of threat. Yeah I thought the attitude for out was bang on, that's what's got us the result in the end. They obviously changed things, they went, they went two up top and um, you know, the seven causes a lot of problems starting off out wide and, and dropping in little holes as they all did, to be fair. But we had to just weather that at times and um, put in a mature professional performance, which I think we did second half. Um, obviously, a team of their quality are always going to have the moments, which they did, but we uh, were gritty, it was, it was ballsy. Um, and uh, I can only um, praise the lads for that, really. It seems that our lads are a bit unhappy with the um, with their goal. Can you talk about that? Um, Is it a foul? Uh, well, I think the first part was when it was on the near side touchline. We, we weren't convinced all the ball went out. The linesman had seen it from 60 yards. I mean, I'm stood on the same line as him. and mm. Yeah, so I think it stemmed from there. And then we'll have to see the video about offside. I think maybe someone might have just been a little bit deeper. I don't know. But yeah, and nah, I'm, you know, stood here now. I can't. I can't complain too much about it because I've not, I've not seen anything personal. And that's um, our second goal, it actually came from some really quick thinking from Nicky Walker and uh, Ross Daly, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, in those moments you've got, 
like I said, you've got to show maturity. You know, a couple of times in the first half, we've, we've done it and probably a bit naive. Um, Matt was bang on with the timing. They were um, out of shape, unsettled, and we had bodies in the box at the time. So it was a, a really good bit of play from them too. And then great um, finish from Cass. So. Yeah, happy. It was deflected him, but I'm just going to take it cast as <laughs> Yeah, of course. I think he's a striker. If you hit the target and it goes in, then it's up to all day long. So, yeah, he was in, he was where we want cast to be in between the sticks. And I thought he was he was superb tonight, an absolute man mountain. Um, getting hold of it and settling their defenders. They, they couldn't get to grips with him. And, um, yeah, he deserved that. Yeah, I'll tell you on, on the radio that he gets through so much on his own work that it, it would be great if he could score tonight and then he did. <laughs> yeah, and we'll keep getting on the cast to keep doing it because he's got his rewards tonight. So, yeah, fair play to him. Yeah, so we're going to next week's game away at Stafford and we're five unbeaten now, so a bit of confidence going. Yeah, well, obviously it's hard not to be confident after beating the top of the league and then off some obviously off the back of a couple of other results so um, it's a good moment for us but we've done nothing yet we, we need to stay grounded keep going and um, you know keep churning the results out hopefully but yeah it's a tough place to go long trip they're obviously doing well so but where we are now we, we're in a good place so we just hope to keep that going and we, obviously we, sooner or later we're going to have a couple of more players coming back into the fold maybe Andy Kelly and George Smith and not too far off no, I think Josh is just about there. We're just getting some work through his hamstring and making sure, really. And then Kel's probably another couple of weeks, but you might have seen him out on the pitch doing his work tonight. So it's good to have him around the place um, and, and keeping his sort of facing and that. So, yeah, we'll get stronger as well um, with those. So, yeah, we, we just don't want to settle. We, you know, can't just settle and be happy with that. Obviously, we are, but I mean, we've got to take it on. We've got to take on, we've got to keep hungry and stay grounded and, you know, keep it going. Well, it's a thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable performance, so thanks for all the facts. <laughs> no worries. <laughs>